Today's objective is to identify ways we communicate over long distances. So if we think about how we're communicating now, maybe a lot of us are using iPads to talk to each other. Um, we're using computers, iPads for Zoom these days. Um, maybe you want to FaceTime one of your friends. You can do it on an iPad. You could talk over the phone. You could write letters even if someone was lived far away from you and they didn't have phone access, they didn't have uh, technology, or you just want to do it the old-fashioned way, you could write them a letter, send it to them in the mail. Or if someone was far away from you, you could just shout really loud and hope they can hear you. So there's all different ways we communicate um, when people are far away from us. But can you think of ways that you can communicate to someone else with only using light? I'm going to show you some of the ideas I thought of, of um, events or situations where we just need to look at the light involved that tell us a message. So I want you to transport yourself to Halloween. Okay, you're going trick-or-treating and you see this house and there's lit up jack-o'-lanterns everywhere and the porch light is on. You know this is a place where if you knock on the door, you're going to get some candy just by looking at the lights involved, not by any noises. If you continued down the street and you saw a house that looked like this, would you try and see if the person inside was going to trick or treat with you and have candy out? No. You know, okay, the lights are off, nobody's home, or they're pretending not to be home and they don't want to engage in any trick or treating fun. You would skip this house and go on to the next one that had their porch light on. Or think about any time you're out and about, you're driving with mom or dad or any other adult, and you see a traffic light, just with the lights, they give us messages. We know red tells us to stop, yellow tells us to slow down, and green tells us it's safe to go. You might have heard the phrase SOS. So SOS can stand for save our ship, save our souls. It's a distress signal. By just using light, um, ships, uh, can or other, yeah, I guess anything in the water can use light to tell the message to help us. The way to communicate SOS with a flashlight is three quick flashes of light, three long flashes of light, and then three quick flashes of light again. I'm going to show you a video example. That particular communication system is called Morse code. SOS is probably the most famous um, demonstration of this, and that is just using light. And here's another example you've probably heard of before, the bat signal. The bat signal is just using light. It's a projection, um, a light projection onto the night sky um, of a picture of the bat. And this gives the message that Batman is there to save the day. So those are all examples of ways that light is used to communicate over distances. Not using any sound, but just light. It might seem like a challenge at first, um, but there's actually ways, as I just showed you guys, that that happens all the time. So for my activity for you today, I'm going to challenge you. You have a flashlight at home, I want you to come up with a code using only your flashlight to answer yes or no questions. Okay, so take your flashlight out, decide which light signals mean yes and which light signals mean no. And then uh, have someone else in your household explain to them the code <laughs> and then have someone else in your household ask you questions and you should respond to them just using 
light.